Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is to find out the support reaction for this frame. This frame consists of one beam and two columns. There is a uniformly varying load or the triangular load acting on the beam. The beam length is 9 meter and the two vertical columns have the length or the height of 8 meter while there is a literal load acting on one column and the magnitude of the column is 5 kN. The distance of this load is 4 meter from this support and also there is a load of 4 kN per meter acting on this beam. So we have to find out the support reactions. Let's consider this is support A and this is support B and it is a roller support so it can only take the vertical load RA while it is a hinge support so it can take both the horizontal and vertical load so it will be RBY and RBX so we have to find out these three support reactions for this frame so RA RBX and RBY we have three unknowns now to find out these unknowns I have to simplify our frame so first we have to find out the total point load from this triangular load so we have to find out the area of this triangle. So the area of this triangle will be equal to half base into height. So half base is 9 meter and the height is 4 kN per meter. So base is 9 meter multiplying it with the height which is 4 kN per meter. So meter meter will be cancelled and we got area of 18 kN. So it means that pointed load of 18 kN acting at the center of this triangle. So there is a pointed load of 18 kN. Now this 18 kN will act at the centroid of this triangle. Now to find out these support reactions we can use this equation summation of moment equal to 0 or summation of horizontal forces equal to 0 or summation of vertical forces equal to 0. Now we have three unknowns so we cannot use this equation or we cannot use this equation. So the only equation we can use is this equation with summation of moment equal to zero in order to find out the vertical reaction. So to find out first of all RA I am going to take summation of moment at point B equal to zero. At this point equal to zero and the clockwise moment is taken as positive and the anti-clockwise moment is taken as negative. So RA will create clockwise moment about point B because it is acting in the upper direction so it will act in this way and it will create clockwise moment about point B so it will be RA multiplying it with the moment arm the moment arm is the distance from this A point to B which is horizontal distance and this distance is 9 meter so multiply with the 9 now this load creates a moment 5 kN in the anti-clockwise direction about point B so it will be minus 5 into moment arm which is 4 meter this vertical distance from this point up to this point is 4 meter also this load which we find out is 18 kN also create moments in the anti-clockwise direction about point B. So it is minus 18 multiplying it with the moment arm. Now the moment arm is the distance from this point up to the B point which is R. So if you hold this let's consider this is a triangle of length L. So the center of the triangle is always lies at this point. Now it, from this end up to this point this length is two third of L and from this point up to this point it is one third of L. This is the centroid of the triangle known from the background. So this will be the centroid for this triangle. Now this is also triangle so the centroid R will be equal to the one third multiplying it with the length which is the nine meter. So this will be the centroid of the triangle because we are taking from this end so we are taking from this end, which so is one third of L. So one third of L, L is nine meters. So one third multiplied by nine meter. So one third of nine is the moment arm for this load. Summation of moment of all moment about point B equal to zero. Now to simplify this, similarly it will be nine R A. It will be minus twenty, and we will also multiply this value. So nine R A. If we shift this into the right side, we got. 20 plus 54 so 9 RA we got 74 so it means 
that R A seventy four divided by nine, we got eight point two two kilonewton. So R A is the support reactions here is eight point two two kilonewton. Now we can find this R B Y simply by this using this equilibrium equation. Summation of all vertical forces equal to zero. The upward forces are taken as positive and the downward forces are taken as negative. Now upward forces are R A and R B and this it in Newton is downward forces. So R A plus R B minus 18 equal to zero. While 18 is the downward force. These are acting in the upward direction. That's why they are taken as positive and this is acting in the downward direction 18. That's why it's taken as negative. So R B will become R B Y will become 18 minus R A or we can see 18 minus 8.22 we got 9.77 kilonewton. So this is the support reactions here R B Y 9.77 kilonewton. Now how to find out this R B X is we know that there is no other support to take this horizontal load so all horizontal load will be only taken by this support. So it's very simple. So similarly, so it's very simple. We can simply write RBX is equal to the 5 kN. Because hinge is the only support that can take the horizontal load. Is this support cannot take the horizontal load. So 5 kN will be directly taken by this support, which is a hinge support. So it is equal to 5 kN. Or we can also find by this method the summation of horizontal force is equal to 0 and RBX force is taken as positive minus 5 kN acting in the opposite direction equal to 0. So RBX equal to 5 kN. That's why RBX is 5 kN. So this is the way how to find out support reactions for a frame. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for DD7 engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.